Hello everyone. Several people have asked me what are the most common symptoms of candida overgrowth in your body? And today I'm going to talk about it because the real reason of these symptoms is candida overgrowth and you might not be even aware of it. Hello, I am Dr. Anshul Gupta. I am a functional medicine expert. I help people reverse their chronic diseases by making personalized functional medicine plans. You can work with me from anywhere in the world by online consultations. The link is in the description. So let's talk about candida. What is candida? So candida is a yeast or a fungus that is one of the organisms that lives in our body. Yes, there are several organisms like bacteria, viruses, pathogens, candida that lives in our body, mainly in our gut, mainly in our skin, and different areas. And those are perfectly fine because we need these organisms for proper functioning of our body. But the problem happens when there is overgrowth of these organisms, especially candida, which can lead to a lot of problems. Especially this overgrowth of candida happens in your gut and you might not be even aware of it. So let's talk about what are the symptoms that can point that you might have a candida overgrowth in your body. So the very first symptom of candida overgrowth or candida present in your body is feeling tired or fatigue. Yes, several people are going through being tired all the time or being fatigued all the time and they have even been diagnosed with chronic fatigue syndrome. But the reality is that the underlying problem is the candida overgrowth which is happening in their gut and nobody has even checked about it. So candida affects your adrenal gland, candida Candida affects your hormonal dysfunction and all of these things can lead to being tired and fatigued. So that's the number one symptom. The second symptom is that if you are unable to lose weight or if you keep on gaining weight, that is another reason of candida overgrowth. Now, candida is present in our gut. Candida hijacks your metabolic machinery of your whole body and doesn't let it function. So you do not burn enough calories than you're supposed to do. And that makes it difficult for your body to lose weight. A lot of people have been labeled that their diet is not proper or they're not exercising or they have other medical issues like thyroid, which is causing them not to lose weight. But in fact, they might have underlying candida overgrowth, which is the reason of not able to lose weight. The third symptom of candida overgrowth is sugar cravings. So if you are that person who is craving sugar all the time, or if you feel better once you eat chocolates or sugar or sugary things or sweets, then that can all be because of candida. Because sugars feed candida. Because candida likes to feed on sugar. So when you get that sugar to candida, it makes all these enzymes and chemicals in your body, which makes you feel better. But you keep on having these sugar cravings, so candida can be fed again and again. So if you do have sugar cravings, that can be because of candida overgrowth. The next symptom of candida overgrowth is mood changes. Especially if you're feeling anxious or depressed all the time, that can be because of a candida overgrowth. Now candida makes inflammation in your body. This inflammation causes chemical imbalances, especially hormonal imbalances in your brain, in your serotonin levels, in your dopamine levels. And these are all chemicals which are responsible for your mood. And by causing imbalance in those hormones in your body, candida causes anxiety and depression. A lot of people have been taking anxiety or depression medications for several years and they don't even realize that the underlying problem is candida and nothing else. The next symptom of candida is brain fog or difficulty concentrating. Yes, again, candida causes a lot of inflammation in your brain. And because of causing this inflammation in your brain, it hijacks your brain system and doesn't let your brain function at all. So a lot of people complain of that. They feel that their memory is not that, that great. They're forgetting things. A lot of times they're not able to concentrate on things. They even have been diagnosed with ADD or ADHD symptoms or dementia symptoms too. All of these can be because of candida overgrowth in your system that can lead to brain inflammation. The next symptom are gut related symptoms. So if you have bloating, if you feel bloated stomach, if you have been having diarrhea issues or constipation issues, or you have stomach cramping or stomach pain, or even if you have been diagnosed with IBS, these all symptoms can be because of overgrowth of candida in your gut, which is actually called by a condition called CIFO-SIFO. 
So that is small intestinal fungal overgrowth, which is mainly candida overgrowth in your gut, which leads to all of these symptoms. The other symptom of candida overgrowth depends on your gender. So if you're a female, a lot of times females will have been diagnosed with vaginal candidal infections. If you frequently have vaginal itching or vaginal discharge, that can be because of candida. The other symptoms is white tongue. If you have oral thrush or if you have white tongue, that can again be because of overgrowth of candida. Skin or hair issues, especially drying of the skin, eczema or hair thinning or alopecia, hair loss. That can all be signs and symptoms of candida also in your system. So you see, these are all the symptoms which can be because of candida overgrowth. So if you have any of these symptoms, it is very important for you to work with a practitioner or know whether you have candida issues or not. I hope you like this video. If you did, please like and subscribe to our channel. Thank you so much.